What's up guys, it's Wet Shred. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. And today we're gonna to show you how to do some frog photographies with just a black box or you can use a black piece of paper. Paper, use this as your background. Get your sub subject for me today. It's probably gonna be my drone. So hold up while I set this up. So basically by now your subject should look like this. Put down the camera, you get a few angles, you get the angle you are going to like with this, and then you can take the picture, or we could add some lights. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your phone, make sure you have a blue background, and you can point it at it like this. This, and it will make it have a little bit more pop, and you can mess with the colors, set your camera to a timer. Timer, if you are new, you can set your camera to auto. Uh, the auto should be the P button on your camera. If you don't have that and you have a different auto feature, then just use auto if you want that. Or if you know how to mess with ISO on low light settings, you can do that. But uh, I'll show you what the image looks like after I take a couple of pictures. So now after you get a few pictures with the blue, you could switch it to a different color and get the opposite side. So let's say you wanted to do red. You could do that and then put it on the opposite side of where you put the blue light. And then after that, it will look something like this. Like this, and we'll take the picture and we'll put it all together in Photoshop later. By the way, yes, this feet doing this with a, let's say two phones would be easier easier I just wanted to show you guys how to do it with one phone real quick and then if you wanted to do it with two phones this would be a much easier way and it's less editing for you later all right so here we are in Photoshop we have our two images here that I imported one has a little bit more detail than the other but that's completely fine we're gonna work with it or no normally I would retake the red image and make sure it's like not like that not blurry at all but we'll work with it so first thing we're gonna do is duplicate boat layers. Name this one blue copy. Name this one red copy. All right, and then after that, we're going kind of throw these out just undo that so we don't mess with them you can even group them uh, control G to group and now let's get into this so we can do one or two ways we can just do it this way and combine it which would be very easy but before we do that as you can see there is a little bit of a problem it's not lined up we want to try lining it up So make sure this is not being selected. Make sure you're able to move the images. I use the arrow key for this. Okay, so this is basically lined up. And then after that, you wanna just pick something that's gonna work. This to me works fine. So there's not much to do here, but we could mask this since we know this side should be blue. Can zoom in. Oh wait, before we do anything, let's crop this. Hey guys, what's up? Wanted to interrupt you real quick because it didn't actually record what I was uh, doing, I realized. So this is my curve adjustment layer. You can use these two sliders or add the three dots and adjust it properly or use the sliders. And over here, here is my crop tool. I don't know why it didn't show up on the recording, but Anyways, that's it. And you guys can go back to the video. So let's crop all this. Because this side, we're going to just make sure it's not in the image. The crop's perfect. So we're going to try lining everything up for masking. Get your brush tool. Make sure it's black and not white. Zoom in here. Pick a nice soft brush. And just brush away all the blue spots that will show up. I 
to me, that looks good. So we added a hard light here. We lowered it to about that opacity. And the last thing I want to do is curves. Curves to me is something that's great. So we could lower it here, make it a nice darker image. add some light to it away I think it's good right about there my editing is kind of quick here but not much to do but yeah to me this looks good good so after this all you got to do is save it that's it always add the three dots to the curves by the way I think it gives you better control over it but you know you don't have to but yeah, this is basically what I want. And the only reason why we keep these two here is because you want the original images. Just don't mess them up, so I always keep them separate. I'm going to mess with my uh, copy images here. But yeah, that looks great. So we're going to upload this to Instagram later, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I see you guys uh, in other tutorials later. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around for so long. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys want to see the actual image, it's going to be up on my Instagram. Also, if you guys don't know, I'm actually doing a giveaway right now for one lucky person to receive a Peter McKinnon X Nomadic Camera Cube. If you guys want to go check out that video, it's on my channel. Also, uh, go follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, or Twitter. One of those two. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.